good morning dear students today we are going to learn about the next part of the third chapter diversity in the living things and their classification in last video we have finished the structure of the plant that is stem root leaves fruits and flowers with their function i hope you understood that next part of in that need for classification of the plant so why there is a need for classification of plants in last video only we have seen that if you are going outside there are so many different varieties of the plant yes so there we, we have to study if their characteristics so we can classify it into their into particular group if if you are taking example in our own school only if the same boys are there 7th and 8th both their height and all things are same but according to their age we are classified their groups 5th standard 6th standard 7th standard 8th standard like this only the plants plants also have to classify so there is need for classification of plant to study their structure organs and characteristics yes so up to now the information about lacks of the plants has been collected see and while studying in the diversity in the plants they are classified why they are classified so they are classified for a sake of conven convenience on the basis of similarities and the differences in the structure and their other characteristic means what the similarities is there what the differences is there in their structure so we have to classify that plants so first the scientist cars lears made the first class uh, first scientist classification of the plants initially it was his method for classification that was used by all the cars uh, cars lewis was made first scientific classification of the plants he only made first and after that we are using that all over in the world now next part here what they given first take a round through a garden or in your surroundings and list the plant that you see yes yesterday only i told that but nowadays lockdown is there don't go anywhere so draw the picture and as well and draw a table below to complete it on the basis of information you gather and discuss is in the class here one chart is given just see what the chart is there so this first is the name of the plant which plant you are seen next where does the plant occur and grows where does it grow on land on water like this or uh, floating on the water that information you have to write in this column next nature of the stem nature of the stems you have to write in that circumference color how it is uh, how its bark is there hard or so soft like this information you have to put in this column next height about her height if you are seeing some are short some are medium some are very tall like this you have to write in the height next it is branches uh, if you are writing uh, if you are nature of the numbers means uh, how many four five if many are there uncountable you have to write many uh, next leaves color and shape and age that also you have to write again flowers yeah uh, flowers color you have to write fragrance and shape of the flower also you have to write in this column next nature of the fruit color shape hardness and softness of the fruits you have to write in this column and last column is there where uses means which part is it is used in various means uh, they are if you are using a uh, food if you are using medicinal plants are there like this you have to write in that column here one we discuss one or two will discuss remaining uh, means you have to write that information first here given rows if you are seeing rows where does the plant grows it is grows on land is is nature of stem 
His stem is thick, hard and green colored. Yes. Next height. Rose, rose height is very short. Yes. It is short only. Next branches. It is close to the ground. Yes. If you are observing rose then it is very close to the ground. And 4 to 5 in number only. Next. Uh, leaves. If you are seeing the leaves that is green in color, flat and rough edges are present on the rose. Yes. Next flowers. Flower if you are seeing. Then red, pink, yellow. Is these all colors of the roses are seen and they have the fragrance. Yes. So very nice smell is there. Yes. So next nature of nature of fruit may but does not produce the fruit. It is flowering plant so it does not produce the fruit. Next uses. Roses are used as a where in gardening in uh, Various uh, medicinal plants are there. Rose water if you are seeing. that In that also we are using the rose. Yes for some time we are eating the rose also. Some flavors they are adding. Yes. So like this you have to write the roses. And now next one. Another one I will take here. And we will discuss that. Here mango if you are seeing. Mangoes. Then. Where does it grows? It is grows on land. Yes, this height. Uh, now, uh, this uh, nature of stem, it is tall. Yes, and big tree with hard and strong stem. Yes, height it is very tall. Branches, we can't count. It have many branches produces at some height above the ground. Next, leaves if you are seeing green are there, flat and smooth. Wavy edges are present on that. Next, if you are seeing mangoes, the small yellowish brown flowers are produced in the bunches. After that, that is converted into the fruit. And fruit, you know that first it is green colored, then next it is yellow colored fruit, soft with hard seeds inside. And if you are putting that seed, again we will get the new mango plant and this it, it is used at the fruits are used as a food means which we are using as a food like this information you have to write in the this table understood so next part it is classification of the plant if we are observing near to garden or outside here there we can easily notice in the different shape and height of the plants in our surrounding. It is easy to classify the plant on the basis of their observation. Here only the diversity in the plant. Just see here very small is there. Again big to that. Again big to that. Like this it is. And these two are the very big trees only. Their height if you are seeing. Ha, very tall it is and their branches are above the ground and many branches are there. If you are seeing this diversity of plants you can observe uh, in our surrounding. Uh, in our near to our Siddheshwar temple also like this diversity we can easily identify. Understood? So next first classification before going to that what are the similarities between a mango and bunion and turmeric tree? If you are observing these three plants, this plant grows very tall. Yes, their stem and trunk is very hard. This, this part is very hard and strong one. And these branches are many branches but their height is above the ground near to ground it is not there like this it is not there it is above the ground and they bear flowers and fruit for many years they giving first flower after that they are converting into the fruit such plants are called as trees means which have, which plant grows tall first condition which plant grow tall and their stem and trunk is hard and strong they have many branches about the 
ground they bear flowers and fruits for many years such plants are called as trees so trees are tall big and perennial they can live for many years yes so this is the first classification what plus classification it is trees understood children next one so next one it is what are the similarities between the hibiscus oleander and lantana plants here if you are seeing this is hibiscus hibiscus plants if you are taking that uh, it grows close to the ground just see here close to the ground and they give out the branches very close to the ground it is not like a tree they are shorter and smaller than the trees means their height is short but they have thick and hard stem yes and the oleander and the hibiscus lantana corinthi and rose are the shrubs they grow up to 2 or 3 meters only means shrubs are what they are growing very close to the ground yes and they give branches again close to the ground they are shorter in the height and they have thick and hard stems these are known as the shrubs example hibiscus oleander like this plant which are shrub only yes next third classification it is second shrub third is a next herbs what are the similarities between the fenugreek and periwinkle plants yes fenugreek you are eating that it grows at 1 to 1.5 meter only very short means their stems are green and flexible compared to the trees and the bushes but herbs may live for few months or only up to 2 years means their their uh, height is very small only 1 to 1.5 meter it is there they are herbs means more green color and they, they have flexible stem is there green colored uh, fenugreek means what methi uh, what we are eating as a food yes so this is the according to size height of the stems the plants are classified into three types first it is trees shrubs and herbs so these are the first classification what trees shrubs and herbs so today we will stop here next part we will see in the next video if any difficulty is there call me thank you